Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiff. Oh, fucking hell, I've beansed my intro. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today we are in the wonderful game that is RimWorld. Honestly, it's a fantastic game, and it was made by only one guy, which just makes it even better. Whereabouts are we at? Well, we're in a very interesting situation, where, of course, we have Sir Digby. We now also have Tracer, Yuta, Asia, there's Big Dave, Statman, and, of course, Dweeb, who we just collected from, I, I think it was a prison that we busted him out of. So, yes, there we go. And we're on our quest to make quite a lot of silver. At the moment we have 7,594, which is quite phenomenal. However, we can go higher. Oh, trust me, you can always get more money. But of course, we're in an odd situation because we have three prisoners who can all have their organs harvested. And, you know, that's lovely. Like, each one of these, they're just walking, I don't know, maybe a grand, two grand... I think you're missing a kidney because it got shot out. Yes, yeah, so you're missing a left kidney because it was completely destroyed by Sir Digby's bolt-action rifle. Sir Digby, don't shoot the prisoners in the kidneys. We need to sell the kidneys, you absolute melon. There's sadly nothing we can do to stop that. That's been and happened. But this is our terrible situation here. Poor Aesir here is currently dealing with an infection caused after a gunshot hit them. It was Bourbon's bolt-action rifle bullet. It narrowly missed Sir Digby and it injured Aesir's left tibia and left leg, which has led to a minor infection. Now, I'm pretty sure she should be okay. So, everyone in the comment section voted that she should be fine and we should try and keep her alive to the best of our ability, instead of removing her leg. I mean, fine. I, I agree. We won't amputate the left leg anymore. You guys are just so, so, just hippies. Like, why do you want to keep the only female of the colony alive? I'm perfectly fine with just randomly removing limbs and body parts from colonists. Also, I've changed the prisoner food schedule. Basically, they were using up too many of our fine and lavish meals, so I've set them all to... Prison food. Now, you might be wondering, what is prison food? Well, if we check the food restriction section and select prison food, we can see that prison food only allows prisoners to eat some raw meat. Oh, and it's only human meat. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, our prisoners are only allowed to eat human meat. <laughs> Yes, we might turn our prisoners insane, but hey, we've got several hundred human meat lying around that's just going to waste, so we might as well feed raw human meat to the prisoners. Anyway, so Digby back at full health, he is. So here he is. He is about to remove Gamble's body part. What are we removing today? That's right, we're, we're amputating his left leg. He's got an infection in it, guys. We're saving his life. If your leg's got an infection, definitely want to remove that thing. Yeah, can't keep it around. Yes, we could use medication to save the leg, but why don't we just remove the leg? So that's what we're doing today. Good job, Sir Digby. Just chop off Gamble's left leg. I'm sure that won't make him angry. Oh, actually, are we getting raided? <gasps> I didn't check. Oh, we are. Three little raiders have arrived. Rachel, Zaif, and CT. Well, they all have tiny pistols, so I think we'll be quite okay with this. Anyway, we could quickly do with Sir Digby probably treating Gamble before he bleeds out and dies. And meanwhile, I want Tracer. Conscript yourself and get over here. Asia. Oh, I can't even conscript you. Because you're on a bloody food binge. <sighs> ah, just... Stop your food binge and help defend the colony. Part of the reason everyone said not to amputate your leg was so that we could have you defend the colony, but no, you're just gonna binge on food. Where's the other one going? His CT. Why are you so slow? What's up with you? Wow, your, your left leg's completely buggered. Okay, I'm not even gonna look at that. You're just gonna die of your own accord. There's no, you're a 72 year old. Why have you joined this raid against us? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Anyway, we should also probably get started on removing some of these organs. So, Gamble, you actually have a fine... Oh, for bloody... Ah, what happened? An electrical conduit fried, and now we have fires everywhere. And equally, we've drained all of our batteries. Oh. Right, everyone needs to get on that firefighting action. Prioritise that. Oh, no. Oh, no, please don't let it spread to the bloody super expensive steel high-tech research bench. Oh, yes, there we go. There we go. So, Digby, don't just do one fire and then go, right, I'm going back to sleep now. Get back out here, Sir Digby. No, you to prioritise the fire. And Tracer as well, prioritise the bloody fire. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> just deal with the bloody fire. No, you're not going back. You are distinct. 
You are extinguishing this fire. No, Sir Digby, you too. Extinguish this goddamn fire. Tracer, fire. No, no, you're not getting away that easily. You are finishing this fire. <sighs> right, there you go. Now you won't go sleep. You are actually recognizing the issue that having fire next to the building you're sleeping in, which is made out of wood, is a bad idea. <sighs> These colonists, they've got the IQ of probably a pebble. A fire, for goodness sake, just go deal with the goddamn fire. You didn't even put it out completely. How are you feeling? Apparently you're a bit miffed off that your organ was harvested and cannibalism and mind-shattering pain. But hey, at least you're well rested and you've eaten some food. Just saying. There we go, Sir Digby. Good stuff. And oh, what a shame, ladies and gentlemen. Gamble died in surgery. Apparently human beings can't survive without hearts. But hey, this is how to make money in RimWorld. You can judge me all you like, but this is the best way to leave an off-world colony with a large amount of profit. Go on, Sir Digby. There we go. Oh, Bourbon died. Apparently that lung was all that was needed. And uh, they're dead. Rest in peace, Bourbon. It was a pleasure knowing you. Oh, we actually have graves now. Yeah, that's right. I forgot we had those. There we go. You can just get buried. So how are you feeling, Worry? You're now the last one left. Apparently you're not too happy. But honestly, low expectations. You weren't really expecting much out of this colony. You probably weren't expecting to have all of your organs harvested, to be honest. But you probably weren't expecting a five-star luxury resort. So you'll manage. Don't worry. Anyway, Murray, it's been a pleasure having you with us, but I'm afraid we just got to take some of your organs. So, you've lost a kidney already, so we can't take a kidney from you, but we can take a right lung and then your liver, so that should be good. We, we only get two organs from you, but maybe that was all we needed in life. Oh, we've got Mad Squirrel. He's going to attack everyone it sees. Oh, it is coming straight for the colony. You two, brace yourself. Fire on that Mad Squirrel. Tracer, you too. Open fire on the Squirrel. How hard is it to hit a bloody squirrel? Okay, you just punched it. There we go, good stuff. Oh, the Mega Scarab's eating the potatoes. Well, that's quite nice. It means the Mega Scarab's not eating human food. And get Oh, hang a second. Oh. Murray died in surgery. Did we even get any organs from them? I don't think we did. Can I check their body just before we put it in? No, I can't. Oh, great, right. What a shame. Oh, caravan has arrived at our colony. Welcome facility one of the Organ Harvesting Co. Oh yeah, Big Dave's back. Nice, we've got Dweeb back as well then, I guess. Yeah, we've got Dweeb. Dweeb is moving at incredible speed, I imagine. Oh my god, Dweeb, you really are. What's up with your movement speed at the moment? Oh yes, and this building over here, you might be wondering what it's for, considering how far away it is from our entire colony, but basically, this is going to be the guest facility, because we don't really want the guests roaming around near all of the blood and in close to the prison section, so we're going to designate this entire wing of our colony just for guests. They can turn up and sleep in there. That's fine. We don't need to do anything there. Anyway, I think we're finally ready to actually make our hospital wing, so we're going to build two hospital beds in here and give them of course a standing lamp because otherwise they won't be able to see and now we need to also make it a clean floor because if we don't have one guess what infections happen and if infections happen we need to start removing limbs from our own colonists a warg is hunting michael for food <gasps> not michael <sighs> bloody heck Utah, statman oh wait statman's got a minigun oh god <laughs> statman please don't shoot michael in the process <sighs> okay no the warg is dead Okay, the walk is dead. Did you headshot the walk? No, it was Yuta's bolt action rifle managed to annihilate the walk's brain. Well done, Yuta. So there we go, that's Michael saved. Oh no, 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 no. A flash storm has started. Oh no, we got a lot of fires going. Lots and lots of fires. Right, everyone, make sure your number one priority is firefighting. But only in the home area. I don't want you firefighting anywhere else. Oh my god, there's so much fire! Oh, as the fire... Oh, fire has <laughs> fire hit the raccoon. <laughs> oh, bloody Kim the raccoon. Why did you walk into a lit fire? But, you know, we might as well just designate this area as the home area so that we can just get rid of this fire, please. Just stop the fire from interrupting our lovely guest area. There we go. Everyone's coming over here. It's a bit of teamwork. We're just going to body slam fires until they go. Okay, we've researched gun turrets. You know, we might actually start leaving this planet. I mean, we can, 
All we need is these technologies here. We've actually got cryosleep caskets of our own. So then we'd need a vacuum cryosleep casket. Wow, we're actually pretty close to just leaving. Um, I guess we have made a lot of money. If we can harvest a ton more organs before we go, then why not? This feels like a great opportunity. I guess the Red Creek Alliance is very close because they're on a main road and they are only tribesmen so they're very easy to kill. So if we were to attack the Red Creek Alliance, I'm sure we could probably in their colony find quite a few people that we could steal. I think I'll wait until Michael's in full health and then we'll take Michael and a few others um, equipped with guns and we'll go take this We'll go take out this tiny Red Creek colony. Oh, steel small sculpture, excellent, very nice. This one's called Desolated Cabbage, and it's a portrayal that refers to the disturbing of Utah. Okay. <laughs> Frog absolutely enjoyed his stay and has left behind a single unit of herbal medicine. Thank you very much, Frog, that was very kind of you. So at the moment we've researched gun turrets, so we can actually build yet yeah, mini turrets of our own. So I'm going to build a few kind of like around here. And I'm hoping that this is actually going to be enough to defend the colony whilst I'm away, because it does happen. So there we have it, yes, we've got two gun turrets, and these should actually really quite happily and easily defend the base. I'm very happy with these. So yeah, I think we'll take so Dig B, Statman, Tracer, and Asia, and we're going to go raid an enemy colony. And we're definitely going to need to make sure we research how to make pemmican, because next time I'd love to be able to make pemmican. Oh, spring's begun. And a cold snapper started. Ah, great. This is a bad sign. All of our crops are going to die, and people without warm clothes are going to freeze. Oh my god, rice plant has died because of the cold, and potato plant has died because of the cold. Rest in peace, potato plants. Oh, <laughs> not the younglings. They've taken them all. Hang on a second. What? No, a warg! Just ate Kim the raccoon! We're killing all wargs. Oh, and here we have it generating new map for encounter. It's time to combat! Oh, here we are. It's just the four of us out there to raid a colony. Right, let's take a look at their colony. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Okay, we're gonna have to take this one probably rather slow, I'd imagine. It's gonna be a bit difficult to rush this, but they have bows and arrows and spears and swords so I'd just like to say it, it is looking like it's on our side oh, wow they've got loads of cocoa trees oh we can harvest them and take back loads of chocolate um, I think we try and use the this rocky outcropping here gives us a lot of cover and them not so much maybe if we do that that will trigger them there we go yep yeah, that's triggered them there we go we've killed one of them there we go, just keep shooting. Oh my god, this, there is a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Oh my god, they've got spears on us now. Okay. Okay, this is uh, suddenly becoming a bit more of an issue. Right, everyone, please run if you can. If possible. Sadigby especially. Sadigby, you weren't meant for close combat. Oh god. Sadigby was stabbed to death. With a spear point, penetrating his ribcage and torso. Peters attempted to skewer Sir Digby with her spear, but Sir Digby leapt out of the way. Zoto fired at Sir Digby with her short bow, and then Panther impaled Sir Digby's torso straight through. Sir Digby then died. Oh no. Asia, fall back a bit to here. Open fire again. If you can get rid of the melee people, we've won this. Asia, run! Asia, you can't just stop and not run. You really do need to. Oh, we have actually managed to split their focus a little bit. Statman, run. Panther is chasing you. Good. Good. If we can bait with Statman and get them to follow Statman, then that's good. That's all we need. Right, Statman, open fire. Oh, God. Panther's killing Tracer. Oh, my God. It's a it's a person with a bloody spear. How can you lose? Oh, my God. Right, Statman. Oh, Statman just got a very bad hit to the torso. And liver. Oh, goodness. They've got a great bow. They've got a very powerful great bow. What is this? A normal great bow. That's done way too much damage. Okay, open fire on those people there. Acia, you target Panther. Oh, Trace is down. Acia. Oh, AC is down. Panther. Statman, shoot Panther. Right, that's one person down. Statman, you've just got to 
Somehow, 1v10. I guess there's an 11th here if you count the person we've downed. Alright, Statman, good luck. What? They're fleeing their own base. Statman, open fire on them. There we go, we've destroyed their base. We have one day until our caravan's booted from here. Oh my god, that's been intense. That has really been intense. We best have something good from this because you guys put up one hell of a fight. We lost Sir Digby, the legendary Sir Digby. <sighs> what a man. What an absolute man. He was incredible. We got some awful granite beds. Nice. Um, I'm going to claim that and designate this one medical. Oh, and Trace is down as well. Okay, Statman. Haul back. Who's going to die first? Ten hours and three hours. Oh my god, get Acia back, please. Oh, right. Rescue Acia. Put them on one of the comfy beds. So let's just deconstruct these ones. We don't need them. Statman, quickly turn that off and you're going to need to prioritize tending her because she will die in 0.9 hours. So you've just got to use your bare hands to somehow close the wounds. There we go. Death in one hour. Death in two hours. Death in four hours. And no death at all. Well done, Statman. Go rescue Tracer. And hopefully once Tracer's back... Oh god, Tracer's about to die in 0.4 hours. No! Oh, Tracer. Oh, Tracer. Rest in peace, Tracer. Tracer, it was... Oh... Bollocks. What a devastating day this has been. Two outstanding members of the colony have been taken down. What a, what a very unfair world we live in. Devastated. Right, Statman, rest until healed. Please, somehow. Just anything to try and get you to... Oh, what? No. 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 Your caravan has been lost. <sighs> right. Apparently, if you have both people sleeping at the same time, because no one's actively moving around, you lose the caravan. Which means we've lost the minigun, three bolt-action survival rifles, and we are left with Big Dave, who is a brilliant fighter, but really nothing else. Yuta, who is a miner, and really nothing else. And Dweeb, who can cook and craft, and that's it. We don't have anyone who is remotely okay at medical, excluding maybe Yuta. No one is intellectual enough to do research. Oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be it. This could be the end of of the Organ Harvesting Co. We've lost our founding member, 100 Statman. We've lost Sir Digby, the right-hand man of 100 Statman. And we're just left with Big Dave, the melon who was their, like, hired muscle to do things. And oh no. Oh God. Devastated. Absolutely devastated. Ladies and gentlemen, where do we go from here? What can we do? I honestly have no idea. It's going to be up to you guys in the comment section. I, I really have no idea at all. So, if you're in the comment section, what are we going to do next? Are we just going to have to call it quits? Have Big Dave leg it and leave Uter and Dree behind and just probably never look back on this situation again? I suppose what I could do is there's a friendly AI over here. Landed ship. When does it leave? Hidden ship for us to escape from the planet. So, we could leg it to there if we just mass produce pemmican. Have we researched pemmican? No, it's in progress, right? Big Dave, I think you've got two in your researching ability, and quite frankly, that's all I need. So, work. Big Dave, congratulations, you're now the head scientist. Research pemmican, and then Big Dave is just going to make just tons and tons of pemmican, and then he is going to leg it and leave the rest of them behind, because we can't take Uter and Dweeb. They can just, I don't know, starve to death. Or maybe we could buy, we could potentially buy some pemmican off of them. Oh, cargo pods have arrived. We've got a ton of kibble. Great. Um, pemmican, they've got 251 pemmican. I'd like to buy all of that. That's 470. In return, I guess you can take our psychic animal pulser. Something tells me we're not going to be needing that for a while. So there you go, you can take that. And probably our insanity lance as well. Don't think we'll be using the insanity lance anytime soon. But I would like to take all of your pemmican. And yeah, that's a good deal. Thank you very much. So if we were to form a caravan and have just Big Dave and items, pemmican. Apparently that is only 8.3 days worth of food. Big Dave is going to need more food than 251 pemmican. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Um, you only have <sighs> chabiabias, which 
a tiny rodent that I'm pretty sure I can't use, but you will buy the timber wolf off of us. Michael, we can't take you with us. There's nothing we can do about it. Your owner's died. I'm sorry, Michael. You've got to go. Rest in peace, Michael. Thank you very much. Enjoy your new owners. They'll look after you. I'm pretty sure. Oh, someone wants safety. A refugee named Hendrix. Uh... She's a drifter. She tells you she's 56 years old. Very well. We'll offer you safety. Mostly because I think you might be a better researcher. Yes, five intellectual. Congratulations. You've been upgraded to head researcher. Animal disease. Doe one has gotten sick from the plague. Doe one, congratulations. You've just offered yourself up as a sacrifice to the Pemmican Fund. Oh, pirate merchant. Yes, a pirate merchant. Perfection, right. Big Dave, speak to the pirate merchant. Oh, yes. Pirate merchants are perfect. They're everything I wanted and more. Reason why? They buy organs. So, congratulations, you're having all of our organs. Lovely. We could buy a charge lance off of you. Um, that sounds quite nice. That might be quite useful, actually, for Big Dave if he runs into any opponents that he can't really deal with. We don't tell them where Big Dave's going. We're just saying he's gone for a walk, and you guys sit down here and drink all the beer. That should make them happy. And Doe's gone mad. Great. Oh, no. Luckily, the auto turrets decided to deal with that one. <laughs> Thank you, auto turrets. Very good. Well done. Oh, Hendrix started a social fight with Toxo. Hendrix, can you not beat up our bloody guests? You absolute... Oh, melon. Hendrix, yeah, go sit in the bloody warm, comfy medical bed. Toxo, I am terribly sorry that we have an absolute idiot. Hendrix, you're only useful for researching. Oh, I guess you have got bloodlust. Nice. Great. And apparently you got tattered apparel. I don't care, Hendrix. Deal with it. Toxo enjoyed their stay. Toxo, you got beaten up by Hendrix, so you've left us free herbal medicine. <laughs> Thanks, Toxo. It was a pleasure to meet you. Medical emergency. Hendrix, can you stop being a bloody medical emergency? It's not our fault you have extreme blood loss after your right arm was bitten off. Toxo gnawed your right arm off. I'm sorry, what? We've got to wait until the next crop comes in, and then we can finally stop mass producing the bloody pemmican. Ah, oh, this game. There we go. I found a way around it. We can harvest berry bushes. <gasps> yes, that's it. We're going to send Yuta off to harvest all of the wild berry bushes that are out there. And then we can turn that into pemmican. Somehow. Magically. Yes, apparently berries are enough to turn into pemmican. So there we go. Oh, and apparently another fight has started. Hendrix has started another bloody fight with Gecko. For Christ's sake, Hendrix, if you lose another arm... Okay, so five berries and five meat turns into 16 pemmican. Okay, that's very good. Okay, this is a nice exchange rate. And there we go. Yeah, we got Dweeb hauling back berries. There we go. We're gonna... Yes, the pemmican production is really underway. As soon as we get the rice plants done, that's when it's gonna really skyrocket into something else. Oh, you know, I think I'm just gonna harvest the rice. We really should. We should harvest this and turn this straight into pemmican. So, yeah. Yuta, get on down here when you're ready. Oh, you're just sleeping at the moment. Right, Yuta, prioritize cutting the rice plant. Go. Yeah, let's randomly buy a, a male polar bear and see what that's like. Bam, we've bought a polar bear. It's just landed. That's great. It's trained. Yes, you can do hauling. Great, that's everything we wanted and more. So, if we were now to go world and then technically, I guess, leave with the polar bear, the polar bear can't carry anything because we haven't trained it to haul yet, I guess. Rice and meat. What meat are we using? Human meat. Oh. Oh, we're making human meat pemmican. Right, Big Dave, this is the only way to get you off the planet. I hope you understand that and you're not going to judge me for it. But it was the only way. <laughs> Let it be written in the history books that you probably didn't want to eat the pemmican, but there was no other option, I'm afraid. So we've just got a, gr like a great big chunky polar bear wandering around that we can't do anything with. Oh, he's completely useless. <laughs> we can't train him because all of our good trainers are dead. So if we were to form caravan now and take Big Dave, you can take 27 days worth of pemmican. I'm pretty sure that's enough. I feel like 27 days is all you needed. Yeah, it's 23 days. Big Dave, Big Dave, you can do it. Big Dave, away. <laughs> Leave your crappy friends behind. You don't need them where you're going, Big Dave. Did you even like them? Yeah, one of them was your friend and the rest were just um, acquaintances. Right, cool, Big Dave, he's the... Oh. He's the boy soldier who turned army sergeant. He's beautiful, he's a psychopath, and he's sanguine. And now, he's bloody free. Finally free of all of these idiots. Ooh, actually, you know what I can do? 
we can abandon the colony and leave everyone behind and that leaves us with just Big Dave who's making his way across the map and that means we're going to be stuck at free speed which means we don't have to worry about everyone else so yes we're going to abandon the colony there we go and we've left everyone behind including the polar bear, the mega scarab, Uta, Hendrix and Dweeb lovely now it's just the adventures of Big Dave as he moves his way around the world <laughs> come on Big Dave lovely Oh, there we go he just had a quick nap there now he's on his way Well, Big Dave, he's currently going through the desert. He's almost there. We're getting very close to this tiny spaceship which has just been left behind. Oh, Big Dave, come on. This is going to be one hell of a wonderful adventure if you make it. When an item stash quest, apparently. What is this? A bolt action rifle legendary and Molotov cocktails, but there's two enemies here. To be fair, a legendary bolt action rifle does sound good fun. Oh, come on. Should we do it? It's it's right next to our pathway. Oh, we might as well. I'm betting there's going to be a lot of angry comments <laughs> being like, hang on a second. You should not be doing this. Right. Caravan arrived at the item stash quest. Let's take a look. Right. It's just this person and this person. Here's Big Dave. Right, Big Dave, you're going to charge lance them. Very simple. There we go, their right kidney has just been destroyed. <laughs> oh, that's a miss, Big Dave. Come on. One last shot. One last shot, Big Dave. And that's a death. Well done. Good stuff, Big Dave. <laughs> this is exactly what it's about. There we have it. The legendary bolt action rifle. It's called the Dark Gorilla. Oh, it's incredible. I can't wait for it. Accuracy is 100%. Basically, it does 27 damage. I'm pretty sure that is almost better than my charge rifle. Yes, come on, Big Dave. We're almost there. Oh, wait. Just can I have one quick more. Yep, one last nap. There we go. And here it comes. The crash ship. It's ours. Ship found. It's the ship. Oh, here's the ship reactor. Here's all the cryo sleep stuff. Oh, lovely. Yes, there's a ton of wild boars here, but this is everything we needed. Oh, someone's just landed a perfectly good ship here. Oh, he's ready to start the reactor. He says it's going to take about 15 days and the energy signature is likely to attract people. Ah, gangs of desperate raiders and swarms of deadly mechanoids. You will be swarmed in intensity you've never seen. Make sure your defenses are prepared first. Big Dave, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Right, I believe in you, Big Dave. You and your legendary revolver, we're gonna do it. All you gotta do is live here for 15 days. It can't be too bad, honestly. But you know what? The last stand of Dave, I'm afraid I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger. We don't have time for it today. Otherwise, this video is certainly going to run over. So, the last stand of Dave and whether he makes it off this planet or not will have to be saved for the next episode of RimWorld. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And if you would like to see more RimWorld slash CK2 slash Prison Architect slash just whatever you'd want, just you can leave a comment and I might actually get about to making it. Then make sure to subscribe. It is a wonderful way of keeping up with everything we do. A huge thank you to all of my Patreons who are now displayed on screen. You are absolutely majestic sausages and thank you very much. Your generosity is very kind. You are absolutely amazing. Each and every one of you. Thank you. And if you are looking for a video to watch next, then I strongly recommend this one here. It's absolutely wonderful and it's going to be perfect for you. Anyway, I will see all of you in the next one. Have an absolutely wonderful day.